Good evening guys, this is Sumaya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to manage 3D models in the Dialogs Evo. If you are someone who follows my social media page, you would have come across the post I shared over my LinkedIn about strategically importing the 3D models in Dialogs Evo. And uh, I shared few of the posts and insights. Then today we are going to discuss in detail about each and every step we can follow to manage the 3d models so there are several steps we are going to look into each step in detail and watch the tutorial till the end so that you don't miss out any important steps which can prove very helpful while managing 3d models in your projects so let's get started here i have considered a sample project of office i'll walk you through the office project so that you can understand the type of furnitures i have used in this model so this is the entrance and when we enter from here towards the right side we have pantry and open shelves this is a corridor and then we have a small waiting area here we have two entries for workstation so we have total of 20 20 people sitting in this workstation okay so this is the layout now let's dive into this step for importing the 3d models first step is study the cad and analyze the furnitures so whenever you are working in the dialogues of course you'll be receiving an autocad plan from your architect or consultant or if you don't have autocad plan you would be receiving the pdf files with the autocad plan or to the rarest case you can even receive the image of the plan so what whatever the type of file you receive your first step is to study the layout study the autocad plan analyze the different types of furniture there so depending on the type of project you're working say you might be working on working on a modern villa you might be working on a villa which is of luxury theme any kind of project it might be depending on the project to project the type of type and detailing of the furniture would be changing so it's very important to understand the type of furniture being used in the project you might also be receiving a reference images from the consultant on an architect or your interior designer which will help you to understand the type of furniture you would need okay so here since it's an office project I have majorly chairs, tables, a sofa and a pantry unit and few planters. That's it. Okay. So I have repetitive pattern of the furniture like chairs, office chairs. I have to use it multiple times in different areas. And then I even have electronic devices such as laptops and stuff in projects like offices you have repetitive pattern of the furniture so it's easy to handle the furniture in such projects but you might be working in a project of say residential villa you might be having no repetitive pattern of the furniture being used so when you study the plan and when you analyze the furniture you will understand what furnitures you would require okay so this is your first step second step is place all the furniture you can use from the dialogues catalog so here in this my project i have made use of dialogues catalog so if you're someone who is new to dialogues you can access the catalog from objects select more objects and here is your object library here you can find home furniture office furniture and if you double click on that you can find a separate section for tables, chairs, auxiliary aids, workbenches, etc. So your first step is import all the possible objects which you can use from the dialogues object library. Okay. So here in this project, I have imported this tables from the dialogues object library, all the tables. Then I have made use of chairs then i have even imported the laptops from the object library itself so maximum of my objects are from dialogues object library try and use maximum of the objects from the dialogues itself because they have an less poly size less file size no missing textures it is easy to handle the objects which are 
in built-in dialogs access your file you can operate on your file very easily when you make use of what you have already in dialogs okay the third step we have is diy dialogs models so we have these options in our in the dialogs wherein we can make our own 3d models recently dialogs also launched a feature wherein we can save our own 3d models so what you can do is you can make your own 3d models some models you don't have to import it you can easily make it from the basic structures you have in the dialogs that is from standard objects like cube extrusion body vertical cylinder all these eight standard objects you can make use of this and design your own diy models okay like here for example say this is a cube this is a cube and this files here this i have made in the dialogs itself the files say this is a combination of two objects okay so these files are made in these are my diy 3d models of dialogs this one i made in dialogs okay and the photo frames you see here this also are made in dialogs combination of two objects the coffee table you see here i have made it in the dialogs combination of four objects so it's easy to make the 3d models within the dialog now next step be selective on what need to be imported let's go back to our project so now our next point is be selective on what need to be imported I understand that not all 3D models can be imported depending upon the quality of renders you want to give it to the client. Okay, like for example, plants you have to get it from the SketchUp or the 3ds Max or any other format which is supported in the dialogs. Okay, so this kind of 3D models, of course, yes, you can import in dialogs, but make sure on what you need to import. See, I can import the plants. I can import the plants over here. okay and uh, if i would have not made this diy model of a coffee table which is in round shape then i would have been importing it from the sketchup so now i'm going to import only two types of 3d models here that is my plants potted plants and the plants which is placed within this display rack okay so this is how you have to be selective in which 3d model you have to get it from sketchup or any other 3d models format which is supported in dialogs okay next if you have decided now which 3d model you're going to import and you're searching the 3d models in the 3d warehouse make sure you evaluate the poly size and the model size before importing it so we go to the dialogs here and we search for the plant and under plants we have so many different types of plants and uh, 3d warehouse has us there is a filters in 3d warehouse when you can set the file size like if you need it up to 10 mb or you can even manually set this to say you need it from 0 mb to 5 mb apply there are further filters like you can even set the poly polygon counts you can set the file size like which version file you need okay there's the detailed video on my youtube channel for importing for getting the 3d models from sketchup into the dialogs i will keep the link of that video in the description evaluating the poly size and the file size means see here this plant is 1 mb this plant is 1.4 mb okay but the poly size this one is 11 k polygons this is 14 k polygons so this is better right similarly this is very simple just two to three leaves and okay so make a wise decision if you like the 3d model if you're okay with the poly size and the file size of your 3d model then go ahead and download it and other thing when you when you're importing very less sketchup models into the dialogs then you can go with a little bit of high 3d models that is if you generally use the 3d models with file size of 1 mb then now you up to 2 to 3 mb now next step is say you'd like some 3d models some 2 to 3 3d models of the same plant you downloaded it and now you're checking the file okay and the file is corrupted 
corrupted in the sense sometimes when you import sketchup exported 3d model into the dialogs you have the missing textures you have the missing textures like it may be coming up as black or maybe there are lines on the polygons and if you are unable to fix it then there's no point of wasting time on such 3d model leave it and try and search for other 3d models okay this is what this was your step six and our next step is step seven before exporting the 3d models from sketchup check the file size ensuring compatibility sometimes your sketchup file size may be less okay but when you export it into dot 3ds file then your file size is maybe double of that say your sketchup file size was just 1 mb but now when you have exported into 3ds file dot 3ds your file size is 2 to 3 mb and suppose there are cases wherein your sketchup file size is 1 mb but when you export it into dot 3ds file the file size is slightly less bulkier so it's very important to check the size after you export the SketchUp 3D models into .3ds. Our next step is keep a handy collection of frequently used 3D models for efficient access. For example, plants are the type of objects which we use widely in any given project. Every time there's no point in going and searching for the 3D warehouse, better 3D models, uh, it's just waste of time. So if you have found a good 3D model, what you can do is make a handy collection of those 3D models. I have made a folder named SKP models, wherein I have a different section for beds, cars, chairs, curtain, decor, electronics, furniture, people, landscape and under landscape, if I double click, I have different types of plants, trees and so this will help me save the time because if I'm looking for some tree or a plant, I can get it from here. I have even bushes. So all under, save all under one folder such that it's easily accessible to you. Next step is, so if say this 3D model is nice, okay, I like the plant model. So what I'm going to do is select this 3D model and then mark it as favorite okay this tab button so when you mark it as favorite okay and uh, even if you clear the history or clear the objects over here this favorite models remain same it will not get deleted so then when you're working next on any project and you need a plant then what you have to what you can do is you can go to the objects select you can go to this show only favorite objects and whatever the objects you have marked as favorite that will be displayed here and you can easily select this model and you can use it in your projects okay so make use of these features mark the 3d models you would need our next step is opt for solid colors on 3d models instead of intricate textures for faster rendering okay now say for example here you have imported a sofa okay um this one is from the dialogues but say in case you imported something which is a sketchup model now i will show it with an example okay say so this one so this has a nice fabric texture but it's not necessary that this texture is going to display same even after i do calculation for lighting and render it some textures may appear black when you run the calculation and try rendering it so in such case like this is a texture so this is a texture right and this will the texture will also have a file size for that what you can do is this will also impact on your time for calculation and your overall file size for that easy solution is go to the color material and you can select any color instead of texture you can make use of color a solid color okay so whatever the file size you had because of that texture now it is not there so this is how you can make use of it i'll place this chair okay avoid using very detailed textures 
and instead you can opt for solid colors for your 3D models. Our next step is skip unnecessary areas for render. There is no requirement of importing 3D models where you don't render. So this, so this point is very important. Listen and understand it carefully. See, when you render, when you export and you make, when you make a camera angle, it's not necessary that you are going to cover all the areas of your room. Okay, there's a high possibility that assume that since this is an important space to me, then I'm going to take a render from here. Of course, I'm going to make a couple of renders over the workstation because it is my main area. But I would not be making the render for the pantry if I don't require it okay so there's no point of importing too many 3d models over this area which i'm not going to render okay example i'm saying that this pantry area i'm not consider i'm not considering for rendering so same way you can analyze in your project which areas you're not considering for rendering hope this point is clear next and very important step is save heavy 3d models imports for the end to keep your file nimble during the design phase so what does this mean in your project there would be some very important furniture which you can't help but only get it from the sketchup which might be of a little bit a uh, heavier file and more poly count compared to your other furniture models okay so such 3d models if it is very important to you and you need to use it in your dialogues for your dialogues evo renders or for presentations of course you can use it but try to import that at the very last stages like you can you can do the calculations before importing see so run the calculations check for the result okay so file size you can i'm easily able to rotate move zoom in zoom out okay so all the operations are easily possible because i haven't imported any very heavy 3d model okay so you can do the same and after you have completed the calculation your report is ready and now you need to only generate the renders at this stage at the very last stage of your project what you can do is you can import that heavy 3d model you need for a good rendering okay for this office project for me these chairs are good but if for presentation if i need some something which is more nicer and detailed of course i can import it from the sketchup like let's check if i have a 3d model of a office chair yes i do have this 3d model i'm going to replace all the objects of this type with the chair i have apply it will take some time and say your objects all the chairs are now replaced now you can run the calculations with objects and furnitures for your rendering since this is the last step even since this is the last step the calculation is completed the calculation might take you few more minutes because now your file is bit heavy as you have imported around 20 3d models which is of comparatively high mb and high poly size but this are but this is your last step okay you can set the view okay you can set the required view and then render it so this is it guys and this if you found this video helpful please hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you